Turn my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now today, we're going to be talking about Red Dead Online. Now in Red Dead Online, uh, I can't help but feel this overwhelming um, feeling of like boredom. Like, it, it, now, let me, let, me, let me say this first. First thing, I want to make sure that everybody understands that I do understand that this is the first week of the game's launch. There hasn't been any major updates or anything like that. And that the game is fresh and new, and I do understand that. I reserve the right to, uh, you know, reevaluate this in a couple of months and see if anything's made majors changed and things like that. But I know I shouldn't have expected much. Like obviously, the hustle and bustle of GTA Online is a little bit different, considering it's more modern and things like that. Um, you know, there's faster ways to get around than just you know horses and things like that. But that's not it. None of that is it. I, I, I love the idea of Cowboys, I love everything about this game, but there are some key problems that, that one, it feels like there is a major lack of content, like a ridiculously large lack of content, that we haven't had an actual story inside of a Rockstar multiplayer ever, so that's new, that's innovative, that's awesome. But outside of that, you know, we're still working and waiting on some of these Stranger's missions to become unglitched. I think the Anthony Foreman ones are the ones that are glitched. Um, <clears throat> so, sorry about that, by the way. Um, but uh, I, I feel like because of the lack of content, it's a problem. And there's not really even that much to do with your posse. Like, it feels like they took a step backwards. Like, okay, so in GTA... I compare it to GTA because it being the most the, the installment closest to this. I know I should probably compare it to something more like Red Dead One or Red Dead Redemption One, but I, I don't know. It's it's leagues and bounds above that and more closely resembles GTA Five, so that's why I'm comparing it to that one so much. But in GTA Five, um, I can go into a store and I can rob it for extra money. Well, in this game. Um, I can pull my gun out, but when I point it at this dude, he doesn't freak out. He may cower behind the desk, but he doesn't rush to give me any money. He doesn't, you know, move out of the way so I can give him get any money. And I'm kind of just wondering, like, I, if I want to be an outlaw, why can't I do this? Like, why can't I? Oh, why can't me and my friends rob some of the stores inside of the town and stuff like that? You know, why? Why is there no actual like? outlaw slash feeling i feel like it railroads you almost into being an honorable player like don't get me wrong i don't mind playing honorably and i it, it, playing honorably for me doesn't include griefing like i i don't i don't feel like i should I, I like griefing is cool and stuff like that if you're in the middle of a mission and somebody comes and takes your stuff but that should be the outlaw that I mean that should that should be the wild west you know, there are you're you're doing your job, you're doing your deed, and then some outlaws out of nowhere come out of nowhere, and they're like, "Oh, okay, well, we're gonna take your stuff," and that's that's why you can't loot enemy players. They don't drop any ammo or weapons. They, you know, it, it's just a lot of gameplay features that are non-existent. That almost uh, like I feel like they should have been there. They that should those should have been like big priority type of things. Like, like I said, the fact that I can't, I can't, like, even the features where I could rob people in the stagecoaches, I can't do that. I can't do that to any of the NPCs. I know they don't want you to make money, like, like that, like that, because it kind of defeats the purpose of having a microtransaction store. But the thing is, is that they've taken so many key, uh, like, robbery is one of the bigger key parts, you know? Uh, also, law enforcement isn't, like, a big thing. Like, you have to go to a pretty big town to start things to get popping, uh, you know, and become, having a high bounty. That was the thing in Red Dead Online. You had a bounty, and the NPCs would come at you, or Red Dead Redemption 1 Online, sorry, and the NPCs would come at you, and then you, they'd come out of nowhere, too, and you could rack up these ridiculous bounties, but you don't even have, like, a bounty on your head in this game. And then the player that took out your bounty would get rewarded for that. And I find that so cool. That was one of the coolest features. But it doesn't it's non-existent anymore. And I'm just like, what happened? Like, what what did they do 
and wh who made the decision to make this like this and is this for rock stars like i said is this for rock stars like microtransaction wave or what what are they doing this for because this doesn't feel like a cowboy game this feels like like you're being railroaded into like a a cookie cutter cowboy game like everybody's got to be the honorable hero and everything it, it's not even like i don't know it, it's not even i like the way they have the the game set up when it comes to like you know shooting you have to make it known that you're trying to kill this person before they know that you're trying to kill them. So it's not like you'll kill somebody on accident. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, but aside from that, guys, I just, I, I don't know. There's, uh, I, 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 I feel like the big, the big aspect that we're missing here is robbery. Also, like, the game kind of railroads you to, like, you need multiplayer to really get any XP or anything like that. And... Because after you finish the missions, the strangers' missions are like, eh. And then you're like, well, what can I do? And then you're like, multiplayer. Like, actual, like, you know, team deathmatch and stuff like that. But that's clunky because the game is running at 30 FPS instead of 60. Like, and that's not a problem for a game that's single player only. But when you get into multiplayer, then that's a big issue because you can't turn the way you need to. You can't move the way you need to. Now, anybody that doesn't believe me, compare this game to Fortnite. The both third-person shooters, and one runs in 60 frames per second, one runs in 30, and tell me if you really feel like in this game, if you can, I have to play on max sensitivity to, like, kind of look around and be able to see all my bearings and things like that. Now, tell me if you guys feel the same. Tell me if you guys feel like you're able to move as freely in this game as you are in the other one, which is how it should be. It's not because it's a Western. It's not because it's Rockstar. It's because it's a 30 frames per second, and that's the only issue. I don't know, guys. Like I said, I'm not trying to be too critical on the game. Trust me. I actually, I've, I've had some very fun times in this game as I've been playing over the last couple of days, and I cannot wait. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've got this cough, man. It's killing me. Um, I cannot wait to see how the game progresses over the next year, over the next couple of years, because you know Rockstar games pretty much last like a couple of years. So I cannot wait to see how much and how how much they change, how much they do, um, if they bring up the frames per second. It, at all of that i can't wait but right now at the current state i would not would i go tell somebody oh hey you know you need to get this red day game it could be multiplayer game of the year no i can't say that i can't say that to anybody and i hope that over time that changes but i want to know your opinions on it so if you guys could do me a favor leave it in the comment section below what you guys think of the game currently think of what do you guys think of the current state of the game can it get better will it get better or do you guys think they're going to try to money grab what do you guys think but with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like. And if you guys have not, click that sub button and that bell to be notified on all of my uploads. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.